Welcome back. You are now looking at the outside of our WordPress site and you'll notice that the site has a particular look. And you may be wondering, how can I change the appearance of the site? How can I change either the header or maybe even the footer? Or how can I change the overall look of the site? And in order to do that, you'll need to go inside of your dashboard. And probably the easiest way for you to make changes to the look of your site in the fastest way possible is to go and change the actual theme. And if you hover over the appearance menu, you'll be able to go to the themes area. And you'll notice something. You'll notice that WordPress will give you installed themes. It'll show you the themes that are already installed. But now, what if you want to find another theme that's entirely new that will give your site a different look? Well, in order to do that, you'd go and click the Add New button. And WordPress will bring you to a menu of free themes that you can actually use in order to change the look and the appearance of your site. You want to scroll through some of these themes. They will appear there. Now, one of the things that you'll notice is that there's a menu across the top, and it says that you can actually do this by featured theme. You can also do it by the most popular themes. You can actually sort by the latest themes that are available to you on your WordPress site. You can sort by the number of favorite sites, and typically you can find these on WordPress.org or you can actually look for a site based on certain filters and we're going to go ahead and do that right now and in this particular case if you're looking for a site with a particular color you can actually say that when you're actually filtering and then once you've actually filtered you can actually then do the search and in order to do that all we need to do is click apply filter and then we'll find a theme that has the color blue in it we can pick one and in order to preview the theme, in order to see how it might look on our site, we can actually click the preview button. And we'll get some idea of how the theme will actually look once we install it. Now in order to X out of this and go back to the theme area, what we're going to do is we're just going to click the X there. And that's going to take us back to our grouping of themes. And so what you'll want to do is to find a theme that you think really does fit what your site is going to be about. And then you can click install. Now, once you've clicked install, what you can do is you can actually do a preview of that installation from the live preview link. And we're actually looking at it as it's going to appear on our site and when we start to make customizations. Now, if we like the look and we want to start customizing from that point, we can actually click Save and Activate. And you'll notice now that this is the outside of our WordPress site. So in order to go back to the inside, what we'll do is to go to the dashboard area. And we'll need to go back to the appearance area and go to themes. And you'll notice our theme is right there and it's active. The one that we were using before is not active. In order to make customizations to that theme, all we need to do is click the customize button. And what you'll see there is you'll see a customizing menu come up where we can change the site identity, the colors, the header, and anything that we want to do in order to customize the site. Now in order to go back, we just X out of there. And we are now back in the themes area. And so changing the look of your site is that simple. It's finding a theme that's appropriate. It has the look and feel that you want. And once you do that, then you can start customizing. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.